Hello, I want to do a quick video on how you install a comb into a stock harmonica. This is a, uh, an MS system, uh, MS series harmonica, straight out of the box. I've never played it before. Uh, let's give it a toot with the, with the stock, the stock uh, plastic comb. So that's pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, make it better by uh, making it a little bit more airtight. First thing we're going to do is just take a plain old screwdriver and remove the screws on the sides. Now what I'm doing, I'm putting my finger on the back end to prevent it from turning. Uh, that helps. That helps out. So step one is take the cover plates off. Now, I like to keep my cover plates scratch free. So I have this nice towel here. It's a nice soft uh, surface. So I'll just put them there. Uh, now we're gonna remove the screws that hold the reed plates onto the comb. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use a, a plain, regular, everyday screwdriver. And I'm just holding the reed plate with my fingers so that they don't slide off and we have full control. Reed plates are now off the comb. We're going to get rid of this comb. Now, my combs don't have uh, accommodations for these little bumps. These combs have some extra room in the back. Mine do not. They have uh, extra material so that it makes an extra good seal. So what we have to do is flatten uh, flatten the tips of these reeds, and we're also going to flatten the reed plate to make it uh, to make a, a better contact with the comb. That's going to take me about two minutes. Uh, I'll be right back. It took me just uh, maybe a minute and a half to do. Uh, so now this is completely flat. Um, so the next step is to hold the comb with the the tines pointing upwards and the long slots to your left. So this is going to be how your harmonica. Uh, you know, with the low notes to the left and the high notes to the right. Pick up any reed plate. If the tips of the reeds all line up, see they're all in a straight line, where the base of the reeds are not lined up, they're, 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 they're not at the same height. If the tips of the reeds line up, this is the draw plate, and the reeds go on the outside of the harmonica. If you pick up a, uh, one of the two reed plates and the base of the reeds all line up, uh, and see how the tips don't line up. So this is in a straight line. This is the blow plate and the reeds go on the inside of the harmonica. So what we're going to do is put the top plate on, we're going to put the bottom plate on, and you need to just align one hole. It doesn't matter which hole, but just line up so that, I'm trying to show you, see how you, you've lined the plate, the comb, and the other plate Put one screw in, okay, bring it to the end, and then back it up a little so that we have wiggle room. We can wiggle this around. I need to loosen it a little bit. Now put the other screws in and do the same thing. Go all the way to the end and then back it up a little bit. Uh, now we want to align the comb has wiggle room. You could bring the bring the comb forward or bring the comb back with respect to the reed plates. So uh, that's why I do that. Some people like to have their reed plates like a marine band, a classic marine band, with the plates just sticking out a little bit. Have it any way you like. So a quick way to align them is just put it down on a surface and push down on the plates and that'll line everything up for you so that when you turn it around you can just do a last minute adjustment so you get that just as you like P pinch it, hold it together and fire in that screw so that it's tight we lock it in place just gonna give it a toot to make sure nothing is 
uh, there, there's nothing blocking the slots. <laughs> I mean, already I can feel that it's more airtight. Um, so now we're going to put the cover plates on. The cover plate with the numbers, if your model of harmonica has numbers on it, is the top plate. We're going to fit that into the groove. The cover plate with no numbers is the bottom. That goes in the groove on the bottom. And we're going to line up any one of the holes. It doesn't matter which one. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to, I'm usually doing this with my... Okay, so we're going to hold this together with two fingers. We're going to take a bottom screw, the bottom portion of the fastener. So now I'm going to hold the cover plates and that bottom plate. I'm holding it with my finger so that it doesn't turn. I'm going to line this up. and screw it in, again, loosely, right, so all the way and then back a little bit, just so that I can line this hole up if, if everything's not perfectly aligned. Again, same thing, put the bottom, bottom uh, fastener in, hold it with your finger so it doesn't turn. all the way and back it up a little bit. Now I want to line it up so that it's perfect. Tighten, just finger tighten. You don't have to, if you over tighten it, that's actually a bad thing. Uh, now let's compare it to how it played before. So the bends, immediately I noticed that the bending is a lot easier. There's no wasted effort. Any bending energy that I apply goes straight into making the note. So there you go.